What is up everybody? Welcome back to a new kind of video I want to do on this channel and that's more of these kind of audio related tutorials. There's going to be a lot more of that coming but I just wanted to start with a very appropriate topic and that is looking at my travel rig which is a pared down version of my normal rig but it's something that I can fit in my backpack and still get the most amount of work done no matter where I am. Let's get into it. So I just want to start out by saying I am in Ontario right now. I'm here for a couple weeks working on some projects. So this is literally the rig that I have brought with me. Currently I'm in my studio that I have in Ontario and I'm in the midst of doing some renovations down here and kind of upgrading it. So currently what you see is kind of the middle of the process, not even, it's the beginning of the process. But you're gonna see this room grow and I'm also making a video about the process for those people that are looking into upgrading their home studio setup, but that's another video. That's just a little teaser about what's going on. Let's get into what my travel rig is and what I need it to do and why I've chosen the pieces that I have. So currently the centerpiece, the heart of my rig, is my 2017 MacBook Pro with an Intel i7 3.1 gigahertz, two terabytes of internal SSD storage, and 16 gigs of RAM. It works great for all my music, video editing, mixing. It can handle pretty much any session I throw at it. All my samples and virtual instruments can fit on the internal hard drive. That's why I had to upgrade it to a two terabyte. Next, I'd say the sidekick main part of my rig is my Apollo Twin Mark II. I love the UA software of the platform. I have a few UA plugins. I don't use them all. I love the core ones that I need and the real-time tracking through the plugins when I have to travel and can't bring a vocal rig with me. Now, in my music production and podcasting, I do processing on the way in. That is not for everybody, but for me, it really helps having the Apollo and being able to use some of that gear that I know and the plugins that I know and love. So I already am one step closer to what I know I'm gonna do anyway. Next, when I'm traveling, I need headphones that I know because I don't always have speakers that I can trust. Even when I go to good studios, I don't know the speakers or the room nearly as well, so I need a good reference for me, which is where my headphones come in. My main studio headphones are my Sennheiser HD 380s. I've just had them forever. I know their sound so, so well. When I listen to something on them, I know how it sounds. The second set of headphones that I use to reference things, mostly when I'm mixing, they're my Apple AirPods Pro. Sure, they're not the best sounding, in the world, but I know how to reference on them just because of the amount of hours I've listened to music on those things. So between those two sets of headphones, I can double check and I can get to know any room that I'm in fairly quickly. Another thing that I carry with me all the time when I travel, not just for audio, but for everything to do with my traveling, is my iPad Pro 9.7 inch. This was the first 9.7 inch iPad Pro that they came out with, so it's a few years old, but it still does everything that I needed to do. Now the reason I carry this along with me, not only to read books and do everything else, that I like to do with my iPad, but for my music travel rig, it provides a controller for Pro Tools or Logic, which gives me faders and many other shortcuts that I can do another video on later. It also can give me a second monitor, different instruments and different apps I can play with. It also gives me a portable MIDI controller, which is so convenient, all these different pieces of software that I can use, so I love having my iPad with me. Next thing would be my Kensington trackball, which is basically an extension of my right hand at this point. I know a lot of people don't like trackballs, but this is how I work, whether I'm traveling or not, with the buttons that I like to use and the ergonomics of it. I'm willing to take up that amount of space to bring it with me. There's a laptop stand that I've actually put on the bottom of my laptop to give me that ergonomic feel. This has been a game changer since I put it on my laptop. It just sticks on, it's just automatically on your laptop at all times, but it's not a nuisance when you don't wanna use it. And then of course there is hard drive storage because I use a lot of hard drive space, two terabytes of internal storage. Then I also carry around two external hard drives that are two terabytes each. Some of it's for my video work and then my audio work. I always have at least two backups of a project while I'm on the run. They're both USB-C so I can work right off of them. And then I also have a little system so I can stick the hard drive to the back of the laptop. I'll make a whole video on that later because it's a bit of a productivity hack that I've found. And then last but not least, all the chargers and cables and adapters and dongles that I need. Right now I keep them in little pencil cases. It just works really well for me and the pencil cases don't take up a lot of room, which is one of the biggest problems with actual cable organizing systems. I've tried so many of them. One of the overarching goals of my whole travel rig is to fit in a backpack and be able to be taken out of a backpack and minimal setup to get it up and running for vocals, podcasts, video work, whatever it is that I'm doing, I wanna be up and running wherever I need to be as easily as possible and still get as much work done as I can with whatever situation is thrown at me. I hope 
hope you found that insightful into what I use. I'm gonna make videos about different aspects a little more in depth. Let me know in the comments below what other things you're interested in or if there's things you're looking at or if you wanna know if it's a good choice. I look forward to sharing more videos like this and more tutorial based videos with you in the future. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Until then, always be creating.